Hey everybody, Archie Cobblepot here. Uh, today we're going to show you a really cute, really quick clubhouse mouse design. Came up with this the other day on the fly. Really adorable. Made about 20 of them and it's really quick. This design goes on a hairband or a bracelet so it saves you a lot of time with not having to do the body and whatnot. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Let's start with the Blush 260. I have about three fingers uninflated in this. It's not the most important detail, but we want to make sure that it's most of the way inflated. So we're going to take that, we're going to take a black five inch round. We're just going to inflate that a little bit. That's maybe an inch, an inch and a half. And take the two nozzles and tie them together securely. And you can get rid of that garbage. Like this. From there, you're going to make roughly a four finger bubble. Follow that up a full foot. So this is just big enough to kind of cut the mask through. So you got that. And you're going to want to take this four inch bubble and force it through the hole. Like that. Just the nose. That's the start of our clubhouse mouse. From there, squeeze it a little bit. Make a four inch bubble. Lock those two together back at the base of this one. Now hopefully these are soft enough that you're going to flip them and make two folds. Here. So you have that. Next take a black 260. I have mine inflated with about four fingers uninflated there. And take the nozzle. that junction. From here you're going to make two more four inch bubbles just like you did for those cheeks. That and then connect them back into the junction. So you got this. Bring the blush out front. Pull it up and you're going to match the size of these black bubbles. Take this bubble you just made with the blush, put it between these two black bubbles. Just like a bird body. Once you have that coming out that way, roll it back to the front and then match that with the blush going back down. Once you have that, you can get rid of the blush, you're done. Okay, what is left of the black 260? Bring it up to the side like this. Squeeze it, make it soft and a little skinnier. Then you're going to wrap that around those eyes. Two more black five inch rounds. Fill them up using your judgment. Not all the way, probably about four inches. Make them both the same size. Or as close to it as you can. Now what you want to do, right behind this brow bubble, 
in between the blush and the black bubble. You're going to thread one of the nozzles to the other side. Take your other five inch ram and tie those two nozzles together.
So that was the full speed version. You can see how I was saying in the first part, I didn't squeeze this out enough. It's a little bit too full. It's kind of pushing the ears back. You squeeze it out, make it nice and narrow. It just gives you a nice brow there. Holds the ears in place nicely. And that all came together in two, maybe three minutes. Um, so it's great for any situation, line work, restaurant. It's super cute. People go nuts for it. Um, it's a hairband, it's a bracelet. People love wearing these things. Uh, if you want to do a couple other things, if you don't like the blush eyes for starters, which I'm not usually a big fan of, but if you're in the need for speed, that'll do. You can do the same thing, but you can break off the blush balloon and use a wipe for the eyes. As you can see, I have this one attached to a rose flower base, and that's because some people might like their clubhouse mouse to be a girl, and that's fine. All you have to do is take a pink or a rose 160, take a one inch bubble pinch twist, and make two small fold twists. Like that. And once you have that, tear that off, leave yourself some extra there. Take that extra and push it between the eyes and out the back of the head. Then what you're going to want to do is come up, go underneath that brown ridge, back out to the front. And pull it into that pinch. Girl Clubhouse Mouse. Oh. Now, my personal favorite, if you want to get old school, a lot of the kids nowadays don't recognize them, but go all black and white. Use white for the muzzle, white for the eyes, and then use gray for the flower face. And I think that's the coolest way to go. So there you go. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. Hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you get a lot of use out of it. Bye.